The Wallabies have won the World Cup twice, but so have New Zealand's team, the All Blacks, and they are the favorites, having won the trophy in 2011, and they're now out to make history as the first back-to-back -back winners. So the expectations could not be higher for New Zealand, and Owen Poland has been talking to players young and old ahead of the final. They're the future of New Zealand rugby. Youngsters playing touch rugby after school to improve their running and ball handling skills and dreaming about pulling on an all black jersey to play in a World Cup. Who wants to be an all black one? Me, yeah, me, me, me. Yeah, why? Not why? him. Because, because they always won. Yeah. Winning. And the best team in the world. If we get a try, you swap with Ben and Caleb, okay? <laughs> Rugby has been played in New Zealand since 1870 and the All Blacks have been one of the top international teams for more than a century. So expectations are high about them beating Australia. I think we're tougher. Our boys can definitely bring it home, for sure. All Blacks by seven? It'll be very close and All Blacks will win. One player who knows all about winning a World Cup is former All Black Michael Jones. He scored the opening try in the very first World Cup in 1987 which the All Blacks won, and he was named player of the tournament. He says the current squad is one of the best ever. Certainly if they do win, uh, they should uh, thoroughly deserve the label as the best ever, the greatest ever. The Māori haka performed by the All Blacks before each test match is an important part of their psychological build-up. It's almost like that's the pinnacle, that's the climax of our preparation to go into war, to go into battle, to go into that test match environment. The All Blacks have won two Rugby World Cups, but no team has ever won back-to-back -back tournaments. So the pressure is on New Zealand to defend their 2011 title and lay claim to being the best All Black team ever. What the All Blacks won't lack is leadership. Captain Richie McCaw is the most capped player in rugby union history, with 147 tests to his credit. And he knows all about the big game pressure from an Australian side that beat New Zealand only three months ago. We expect them to always win, and so that's the pressure that every All Black feels every, every game we play, and from generation to generation. But these fans are in no doubt about who'll win the final. Owen Poland in Auckland for CCTV News.